What's up? That's our beautiful work. This is nuts. This is insane. I feel like I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to drive the Camaro so I could show everyone. I should have. You uh, should have told incoming me. Incoming donut memes on the Jeep. I don't even know what to say, you guys. We still hold the record for the world's fastest sea Corvette. We got a billboard above sunset. And thank you, Motul Oils, for believing in me and signing me as your first major influencer and doing such a gangster campaign. What kind of video would this be if I didn't surprise my friends? Okay, turn around. Why may we stand backwards? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's so cool. Dude, that is sick. It's in the best spot, too. Bet you guys all wondering why I've asked you here today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Turn around. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Huh? Yo, Are you kidding? Way. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? You see my face up there? Yeah, gee. That's my friend. That's Come my on. friend. My friend. Wow. Oh yeah. Woo. That's right. That's what, give me a hug. That's crazy. Are you serious? Oh Thank my you. god. You're on a billboard. No yeah. way. A Sorry big for the billboard. Oh wow. my god, that's nasty. Oh my. Okay, turn around. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what the f? That's you! <laughs> yeah. What the f? That's you. <laughs> okay, turn around. You can look. <laughs> what does the bottom say? This is my name. World's fastest. I'm gonna go graffiti that. <laughs> you should. <laughs> I'm gonna go vandalize that at three in the morning. I can't put that in a video. That's such a f you to all the haters. Holy shit. <laughs> like literally on top, it's on top of Saddle Ranch. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna go take your head. I want my head so badly. <laughs> dude, want, dude, just take the head out of it. No. I'm gonna ask them if I can just keep the head. I'm gonna get that billboard. Post my Lambo build on it, and then I'm gonna say, checkmate. I'm down for that, I will support you. I might even sponsor it, Alex. But the Your Move Boys is for everyone else going after the CA Corvette record. We should get billboards opposite of each other, be like, f that guy, and you'd be like, yeah, f that girl. Hey, you know where Saddle Ranch is? I do. That's my billboard above Saddle. <laughs> Today is a Lord's Day. Today is a Sunday. We need to dyno the CA Corvette today. The only person I know with a dyno is Shibi Race. And while Soto, a very religious man, is at church, we're gonna be breaking into his facility in order to use his dyno for science. Quick, come on, guys. Whatever you say. Hey. Uh, no, we did not break into Sheepy Race. Alex Soto, thank you. He's a good friend of mine. And on a Sunday when he happened to be off and out of town, he gave me the keys to his facility and is allowing us to dino today. So I'm super grateful for that. We're obviously gonna treat this place with the utmost care and respect. He's got his roller dino over here. If you remember, he is at a completely new facility. The dino is in the middle of this entire building. This is the same dino that we broke the horsepower world record on. I mean, if science goes well today, we might be breaking the horsepower world record again. <laughs> the boys got the dyno all settled for us last night, so all we really have to do is roll the car on, get her in rear-wheel drive mode, and uh, start doing some testing. Again, Alex, thank you. Thank you so much. If you don't follow Sheepy Race, give him a follow, or at least say thank you for me. All right, fellas, I'm here to show you an incredible all-in-one grooming kit. 
made by our friends in San Diego over at manscaped.com. Manscaped renewed for another ad of the channel, so don't let me down. If you have been thinking about purchasing some Manscaped product, this is what you need to buy. The Performance Package Kit. This staple includes all of the grooming tools and formulations for the modern man. The Performance Package Kit includes their newly launched, latest and brightest Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof trimmer utilizing their skin safe technology. This trimmer has advanced ceramic blades to reduce nicks and cuts. It is cordless, it is waterproof, and you can get up to 90 minutes of use on one full charge. This kit also includes their Weed Whacker Nose Hair Trimmer, their anti-shaping ball deodorant called Crop Preserver, their ball spray toner called Crop Reviver, and disposable shaving mats also called Magic Mats. And for a limited time, you get all of their stuff plus two free gifts the Shed Travel Bag, and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. At the end of the day, it helps support the people who help support this channel. To get this awesome kit and more, hit the link in the description below or go to manscaped.com and get 20% off, plus free international shipping when you use promo code AMELIA. Join over two million men worldwide who trust Manscaped, the right tools for the family jewels. I have to say that. Thank you, Manscaped. <laughs> Now let's get back to the video. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ray, are you Amelia Hartford? Yes. We got Alex Bites. I flew Alex in from Texas so that he could be here today so that we can really make sure that the C8 is as happy as could ever be. So we got a new clutch, we have new tuning abilities, and hopefully a very fun day ahead of us. We got one Corvette, we got two Corvettes. We have a Z06 C6 right here. Look at this baby with a gnarly intake manifold coming out the hood. We got a Holly FI on there. I bet you this thing has some gnarly twin turbos knowing Alex. If I ever bought a Lamborghini, it would be so that Soto can twin turbo it. And I'll daily it, just like I daily the C8. And a lot of people say, you have a race car, you don't have a daily. I daily the C8, guys. I mean, and you saw me drive it to the racetrack, broke the world record, took it home. You saw me drive it to the dyno last time, broke the world record, drove her home. She drives, and I'm very pleased with it. Right now we're just kind of collecting some data. We've got some new updates on the controller that we're gonna try out, fine tune it, see what we can find for any type of efficiency anywhere. And then if we have the time, try to maybe break some records. First and foremost, it is getting the drivability of this car spot on and perfect and making sure those updates work so that we can go to the drag strip and have a great day. And if we have time, you already know we're gonna do a poll or two. Currently how we are able to tune the car, for those of you who are new to the channel, we have a box that Pites engineered, which is a piggyback which tricks the sensor and the car runs and drives like OEM plus a few pounds of boost. We are the world's fastest C a Corvette in a quarter mile and the only Corvette right now putting records down that aren't having to force the throttle open. Maybe we'll come to that point sometime down the line, but right now we believe the best approach is just having a car that overall is happy with everything you're doing to it. We're still in the early stages right off the bat. It looks like we're running a little lean on bank two and a little rich on bank one. So you already see he's got the fuel chart out now and he's working on those tables and we're gonna see how we can come up with. So nothing that we've done to the car should cause it to be running a little leaner on either side, so. Yeah, nothing at all that you've done to this car should piss it off. Can't think of one thing. Yeah. Not one. What are you hoping to get out of today? At least data. Yeah. Answers and data. You think we can do a world record pass? I mean, that's the hope, but yeah. if we can get data and we got a direction to go, it's just gotta document the journey, right? Yeah. It's all fun and games, buy a race car. Invest in your future, don't buy a race car. <laughs> There. Hey, this is a child-friendly channel. <laughs> it was child-friendly. I was waving to it. <laughs> we're going to have a little bit more fuel in her. Top her off some C16. Top off the meth. And I think we're ready to party. We're going up from 9 to 14 pounds of boost, 
parked right now. I'm gonna sit passengers so I can keep an eye at some of the data. Well, Pites looks at the HP tuners. I'm gonna be looking at the Holly. Yeah, I think we're down a cylinder, maybe two on uh, bank two. So we've been chasing an ignition issue. We got colder plugs, we gapped them tighter, thinking maybe we're just blowing spark out. We swapped out the plug wires. Alex said he would retire as a tuner if it was the coils. <laughs> okay, back to O'Reilly's. We're gonna try to swap out spark plugs. And if not, we're gonna start swapping injectors around to see if maybe that'll sh shed some light on the situation because we're at 15 pound of pounds of boost right now and not making nearly the horsepower we should. Tiberius. This is technically day three here, believe it or not. The first day we ran into some issues on the dyno, some that we've been chasing for a while. The second day we came in to pull the injectors to get them flow tested to find out the methanol is so corrosive that we had two dead injectors. So today we were able to grab those injectors. We have them installed on the vet. We also have new plugs and O2s. I also have to give another thank you to Holly Performance because without the guys over at Holly, we wouldn't have gotten those injectors. They overnighted them to us and they also sent O2s. So big thank you Holly but I cannot thank Sheepy Race enough for right as I'm thanking you you walk out here I cannot thank Sheepy Race enough for allowing us to make ourselves at home here giving us a lift allowing us to use the dyno hey we should use the main line for the last for uh, this time around so just for setup time I think we're gonna use the Mustang dyno in the future we'll use the main line but Mikey's showing us how strong these fans are <laughs> you feeling pretty confident You'll find out. I don't think we're going after horsepower records today. I think we just need to get the car dialed, which we're feeling pretty good after this, and then we'll bring her home. Watch it doesn't start now. Honestly, she feels the same, but that's because the injectors that were bad were on the port injected side. So let's load her up with the dyno. you in on a little secret. We, with the new Dodson Stage 2 clutches, were not able to do a factory trans reeler, and so we are unsure if the clutches are going to hold on the dyno. The clearances were just a little too aggressive for that factory reeler, and so hopefully the car has self-learned. The transmission kind of has that feature. If not, we might be talking about pulling the trans again, so. You guys remember when the clutch was disengaging in fifth of the drag strip? That might have been because of the reeler. Tuners. We have Alex Pites, Team Viewerden, helping us out. I'm on the dyno, I'm controlling the dyno. And we're we keep throwing more boost at her and she seems just to be staying pretty consistent with the horsepower. We're not actually seeing the power being put down. Last time we were at the dyno, we thought we may have actually been spinning tire on the dyno, so we're strapping her down a little bit more on the rear, repositioning her. The way she's just climbing when, when the boost hits, the RPM, you can hear it almost go quick and up. I think it's spinning tire. If that's the case, we'll throw the Mickey Thompsons on. And if that doesn't help, we'll put her on the hub dyno. I looked it early on that one, but it climbed better. There was no spike on that. Take a look at this. On the board, you see peak horsepower, 4,400 RPM. Peak torque, 4,300 RPM. Peak RPM, 4,600 RPM. So our peak torque is 743 at 4,300 RPM, which is kind of nuts already. But the horsepower, we can't seem to get above 600. But take a look at this. The red's the RPM. Right at about 4,300, we're not seeing a linear climb in the RPM, we're kind of seeing a spike. And that is kind of telling us that we're having a slippage of some sort. It could be the clutch, it could be the tires. We're really fighting, trying, hoping that it is not clutch related. So we're gonna plug in the GDSD2. It's gonna allow us to read the transmission data. We're gonna see if we can see slippage, and if we do, not good news. We got the transmission computer here, engine computer there. I'm gonna do another pull and we're gonna see if she slips. Somebody made a thousand. It was spinning we the tire. We just tires. watched it, yeah. We just made a thousand horsepower and didn't even try. <laughs> that was like 14 pounds. You finally got a clean pole. Yeah. It's like 14, 15 pounds. Yeah. Oh, so we're good. Okay. Uh, let's go make it. Let's go 
Wait, what's the record? 1075 on a hub. 1075? Something like that. You put ready? Two, two, put two pounds in. Let's do this. <laughs> Sixty foot pounds, yo! What the fuck? I think she's got more in her. Shine literally just ran to the store to mail Alex back his GDS two, so he wasn't here to see it. Should oh we just fuck! Text we him broke some. <laughs> yeah. uh, we ran into a slight issue, but we'll show you when you get here. A thousand twenty-five foot-pounds of torque. Sean should be pulling up any moment, and I'm gonna hand him my phone. There's a photo of my phone of the fact that we just ran an eleven sixty-seven, and I'm gonna say, "Look what broke," and he's gonna look at the photo and see that we actually broke the record. All right, what do you want to guess? Uh, You're not gonna be able to see it from outside the car. The remain seal. That was an easy guess. You want to see a photo of it? Oh shit. <laughs> See, I was literally hoping that that's what it was. I was like, I was like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Amelia to hit me up and be like, yo, I'm just fucking with you. We broke the world record. And then I was like, I was like, please don't tell me it's broken. Like, please don't tell me it's broken. I was about to get so much more beer and just start crying. For over a thousand foot pounds of torque. That's nuts. All right, let's go to this the track. This is what I'm showing them, everybody. Let's go to the track. Yeah, there's still more in there. We're going to squeeze a little bit Let more juice in there. Yeah, <laughs> save that for the track. All right, let's send it. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I think that's a good stopping point. We broke 1,200. That's probably 1,400 crank. That's right? 22 pounds of boost. That's 1,500 crank. I can't believe this just happened. Oh my goodness, guys. Again, thank you, Sheepy. Thank you, Holly Performance. Thank you, Pites, for remoting in. Thank you, Vein Stands. They were the guys who Sheepy introduced us to who stayed late to help flow test the injectors last time to let us know that we had two dead ones. I guess just thank you to everyone, all my partners, all my sponsors, everyone we work with on this build to get to where we are today. Not only the world's fastest C8 Corvette, but now officially we have the highest horsepower again. First to 1,200, First yeah. First to 1,100 and 1,200. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. Yeah. It was kind of brutal leading up to all that. Kind of brutal. Days. Yeah. This has been the hardest two weeks, maybe three weeks of my entire life. Before we all say I'm high, I am tired. I haven't had sleep and we have been inhaling many fumes. I full heartedly believe that we could have very easily put down more horsepower. You guys saw us go from 1176 to 1201. We could have kept pushing the limits, but at what point do we want to risk the motor? So I think we're very happy with the time we got. I think we're ready to take her to the drag strip. We were told by Texas Speed it was probably good for around 1200. And in theory, we just did 1400 to the crank. So we don't want to risk it anymore. I'm excited, I'm excited for what's to come. But in the meantime, we're gonna pull her off the dyno and call it a wrap for tonight. Oh man, I am going to be sleeping well tonight. Originally I was gonna drive up to Monterey Car Week tonight, get zero sleep, show up, and then film the Lamborghini Countach because Countach is one of my favorite Lamborghinis ever made. And now they're releasing a new model, but I'm gonna prioritize my mental health. I always preach mental health. I wanna set a good example. I'm gonna get some sleep and then figure out my plan in the morning. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, Chris. We out here. Bye! <laughs>